then heals the man. Mm -hmm. Bottom line of the story. But first he had to heal the problem. And the problem in our life is sin. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Yes. Now let's skip ahead a little bit. This is feeding back like something terrible. Let's skip ahead a little bit. Can you all hear that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I hate that. To verse 20. Now oh, let's go to 18. Mm -hmm. While he spoke these things unto them, behold, there came a certain ruler, Charles, mm -hmm. and worshipped him. How many of you, when you have need of Jesus, the first thing you do when you pray is, Oh, Father, I need you right now. Huh. Who's guilty? Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what did Jairus do? He worshipped him. He worshipped him, not only just worshipped him, but worshipped him as Lord and Messiah. Mm -hmm. He recognized who he was mm -hmm. before he asked anything of him. Mm -hmm. That's why we don't get from God what we need from God. Because we don't worship him first. Mm -hmm. We start begging him. Mm -hmm. First of all, you don't have to beg God. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Can I get a witness? Amen. Mm -hmm. Second of all, we must praise and worship him in the good times yes. as well as in the bad times. Uh -huh. yes. right. Because he does not like fair weather fans. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. So Jairus starts worshiping him. Saying, my daughter is even now dead. She was dying. But come and lay your hand upon her, and she shall live. Mm -hmm. What else did Jairus just do? He exercised faith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He didn't say, well, I think mm -hmm. if you come over, she'll be healed. He said, I know uh -huh. if you lay your hand on her. Mm -hmm. Notice what else Jairus He didn't pick one of the disciples. Uh -huh. He went right for Jesus. Mm -hmm. We are going to all these doctors and all these psychiatrists and all these hospitals looking for answers. Mm -hmm. Where do we need to go? Jesus. Jesus. Because yes. he has the answer. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Jesus arose and followed him immediately. And so did his disciples. And behold, there was an interruption. Listen to this. A woman which was diseased with an issue of blood Physically and ceremonially unclean, Leviticus 15.25, mm -hmm. probably from a female disorder, mm -hmm. or leukemia, or anemia, something like that. Twelve years she was like that. She came behind him and touched the hem of his garment, for she said within herself, If I may touch his garment, I shall be whole. That was her faith. Mm -hmm. Now, this is going to blow your mind, because it blew mine. What healed that woman? Faith. I thought that. I really did. Because the Bible even says, Jesus said to her, Woman, thy faith has made you whole. You want to hear a different version of that? The fact that she pressed through to get to Jesus. Mm -hmm. She didn't give up because somebody pushed her back. Mm -hmm. Because somebody yelled at her. She pushed through all the way to Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's right. So many times we push through till we get a hold of an angel. Uh -huh. And then we stop. Mm -hmm. We don't push through till we get to the throne room to get to Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But she didn't need to just get to him. She didn't even need to have a conversation with him. She just needed to touch the hem of his garment. Mm -hmm. So she pressed through. She took the second step. Uh -huh. The first step is believing. Uh -huh. That's faith. Uh -huh. But faith without works is yeah. death. So she had to take the second step, uh -huh. which was getting up, even though she didn't feel like it, and pressing through the crowd just to get to Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many of you are willing to press through the crowd tonight Amen. to get to Jesus? Amen. How many of you are willing to take the second step yeah. yes. and the third step yeah. And the fourth step, and the fifth, and so on and so forth. They all come natural after mm -hmm. you take the second step. Mm -hmm. The first step is believing. The second step is action. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, God's not sitting on his throne, scratching his head, saying, well, I don't know what we're going to do about that. Mm -hmm. He's not. He said, I knew you from the foundations of the earth. 
And he said, what about our steps? They're ordered. They're ordered. Mm -hmm. And who can't stop what's ordered by God? Yeah. Anybody. Mm -hmm. Nothing is happenstance. Mm -hmm. Scientists like to say it's circumstantial. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God's about as circumstantial as I am a woman. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> Who's ready to take the second step? Amen. Who's ready to lay hold on the word? Mm -hmm. What did you notice about all these miracles God did? What was the one common thing that they all did? The Bible says when Jesus was born, the word was made flesh. 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 Mm -hmm. What was the common thing that all these people did? Believe. They lay hold on the, the Word, mm -hmm. which was the flesh of mm -hmm. Jesus. We've even got it easier than they do. Mm -hmm. We don't have to do anything except what? Call on His name. Mm -hmm. And He'll show up, right? Mm -hmm. How many of you are guilty of begging God for things? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to say one more thing and I'm going to shut up. How many of you know when you go to the doctor and the doctor gives you a shot and then he says what? Typically, what does the doctor say after he gives you a shot or some medication? That'll be $50. Besides that. <laughs> <laughs> That's cheap. Yeah. Now what does the doctor say? Huh? It was only a couple of days. Well, and then what does he want? He wants you to check in. Come back mm -hmm. to see if the medication worked. Mm -hmm. And if the medication didn't work, what do you do? You tell the doctor, and what does he do? Change it. Changes it. But here's what happens with God. We ask God for something. He gives it to us. It may be not exactly what we thought we needed or wanted or, or whatever. And what do we do? Complain. We give up. Uh -huh. And we blame God. But we'll go back to that doctor 10 or 15 times mm -hmm. till he gets it right. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, why can't you go back to God when the problem hits again and say, Lord, that problem is back again. You answered it the first time. We need another answer. Right. Yeah. Oh, right? Mm -hmm. Right. we got to lay hold on the Word. Mm -hmm. Amen. It works. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I've just shown you three, four different circumstances where laying hold on the Word of Jesus. Well, Jesus works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, what does he say? I am the same yesterday, today, today and, forever. and forever. So if he was good enough for Jairus, and good enough for the palsy man, and good enough for the woman with the issue of blood, and good enough to see the disciples to the other side of the boat, or the, the, the sea, is he still good enough to do all those things now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what do you got to do? Believe. Take Believe. what? Second the step. next step. 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 Or the second step. Right. Amen. Amen. If that woman with the issue of blood had just sat there and thought, well, Jesus is going to come by and I know he can heal me. Guess where she'd end up? She'd have been dead. She'd have died from whatever disease she had. She'd definitely be dead by now, but she'd, she'd have, <laughs> she would not have been healed. Right? Right. But because she said, you know, I'm going to take the second step. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of being this way. Mm-hmm. How many of you are tired of being the way you are? Amen. You're tired of feeling stuck in the mud. Yes. Amen. Yeah. You're ready for God to change some things. Yes. Yeah. Well, He'll only do what you what? Allow, Allow Him to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's time that we open up the box and let God out of it. Amen. Because He's a big God. Yes. He's a good God. Yes. And He's willing to do anything yes. exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask yes. or need. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 Amen.